afternoon everybody I've been busy making my dessert this morning now I'm making dinner I am going to be making my twist my way my creation mini meatloaves in cupcake liners and this would be enough for three meals for two people so I say that's pretty budget friendly if you can get three meals so what you need, let me get my hamburger out here. You need a pound of hamburg. This is 90%. So that's the main ingredient. We need a half a cup of onions, two cup of cloves, garlic, three mini peppers, those little tiny mini peppers, chopped up or diced up however you like it and a half a cup of panko crispy breadcrumbs and for seasonings i have a half a teaspoon of garlic pepper a half a teaspoon of paprika and a half a teaspoon of onion powder then we're going to put in a half a cup of mixed peppers and then we've got the garlic We've got the onions right here, and I'm gonna to top it off with a little bit of ketchup on top, just an itty bit. So I'm gonna pan you down, and we're gonna get started. Three meals, just think, three meals. I'd call this pretty budget friendly for two people, or if you've got three people in a family, or two, you know, whatever. Or if you're, or if you're small eaters, you could get six meals. Depends how you wanna make it up. Um, for me, I'm using this, and these liners are pretty deep. Serve it with something else, that's enough for me. But some people have big appetites. I got these little pans, you can use them for cupcakes or muffins, at the dollar store in Canada when I used to be able to go to Canada and cross the border. But now it's so hard to cross the border, we don't go up to Canada, we used to go for the day. But I'm gonna also cook these, or try cooking them, in my air fryer on bake. So this is all new all the way around, but the recipe's been with me for a very long time. So we're gonna get started. Get a cup of coffee. Okay, here we go. I have my chopper. I absolutely love this chopper. It really chops really well. I paid $2 for it at the Dollar General. I try to watch my dollar as close as I can, and I've had this quite a while, and it does hold up very well. I don't like to put my hands in certain textures, and um, meatloaf is one that I don't really care to touch, but that's me. I need to get a little plate out here or something just to set this on. Oh, God, I don't like clinking my plates. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the peppers in. Just like this. And we're going to put the garlic in. That's two colors of garlic. Or you can put more, depends. This is more on what you like. I'm giving you my basic recipe. This is half a cup of onions. I may do a little more. I'm not sure, I wanna see what it looks like. These are the panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. And here's my season of paprika, garlic, and onion, just like that. And I'll be back because I've gotta get my dessert out of the oven. Okay, we'll continue dessert out of the oven, and oh, it smells so good, yum, yum, but I'm not having it. It's going to my grandson and family. We're also gonna put one egg in here, just like that. And we're gonna start with just a splash of milk, and we'll see what happens, and we'll mix this all up. Oh boy, this is gonna be yummy. 
between this smelling good and the um, rhubarb dessert that just came out smelling good. Gosh, the whole house is smelling great. Now I'm going to have to get in there with my hands. Get rid of this. As you know, I don't like banging of the bowls. And we might have to add something or take something away, but we'll see. We shall see. It's looking pretty good right there. I don't like it really wet. This will be moist enough. This is 85 to 90%. I'm pretty sure it's 90. I don't get anything lower than 85. I think we're going to finish up the onions. So that would be one complete cup of onions. Just like that. And you'll probably notice there's no salt and pepper in here. That's because I don't cook with salt and pepper very much. I do a little bit. But we like, if we want salt, we'll add salt to our food and pepper separately. Just like that. I can tell you this is going to do more than six individual servings, this one pound. And um, I will come up with something else for the leftovers. Maybe I'll make another batch and put it in the freezer. Because I will freeze the ones that I have, the extra ones. So when we're busy out in the garden, we can just whip something up. I'm going to put a few more breadcrumbs in. See how that see how that goes. Get it nice and crispy here. Mm. Oh, it smells. It smells so good. Breadcrumbs isn't going to hurt this at all. So we're just going to do the whole half cup. And we'll see how it is. If it looks like it's too dry, we'll just add a little milk. Now again, this is my twist, the way I'm making it. We're having it for supper tonight. I'm not sure what we're having it with, probably some mashed potato. But we shall see. Uh, mm -mm. That's it. That's it for milk. There we go. That'll be perfect. Maybe a little moist, but that will be good. Yummy, yummy in this Grammy's tummy. I haven't eaten yet, and it's almost 1 o'clock. So this will sit. I'll cover it, put it in the refrigerator till it's time to cook off for supper tonight. And I will bring you back once it's all done and plated. Just like that. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Bring it right up to you. Look how good that looks. And if this had smell vision, you'd say, oh, oh, oh. <sighs> yummy, yummy. So what we're just going to do. Just going to take them. I'm going to stuff them right in the liner. Just like this. Talk about some good eats right here. This will help me out because I'm going to be extremely busy. As soon as I get done this for the day. So that will work out well. You know what? Maybe we won't. Maybe I can top these off and make them pretty fat. A nice fat meatloaf. Whoops. A couple dribbles there went off. Just like that. There. One pound of Hamburg meat. Depending how you want to dibby it up. If you're a big eater, small eater, medium eater, whatever. Put this to go. I want to put that in. The only thing I'm missing is ketchup, and I'm not sure where it is. So, I'll bring you back on that one. I'm back. Took me a little bit to find it. 
but this is what we use right here. Uh, 50, it's 50% 50 less sugar in sodium, I believe. Yes, 50% less than regular ketchup, which that helps. I'm watching my sugar and my sodium intake. So what we're gonna do, I'm not putting any brown sugar in here. So we had, good goodness right here, yumminess. Let's put a little dab of do ya. Just like this. I'm not real big on ketchup, but I know Mr. R likes it. And he will eat it better if it has ketchup on it. Oh, guess what? My Grammy spoon. And then I'm just gonna take it just like this. And put over it. Mm. I know it smells really good. And then again, like I said, I'm gonna put wrap over it, put it in the refrigerator. And when it's time for supper, I'll pop it in my air fryer and we'll see what's gonna happen. I have no idea. See you then. Okay, I have the little meatloafs. Hey, I have the little meatloafs in my instant Vortec air fryer. I had to use my aluminum slings right here and I've preheated it for four minutes and I'm gonna put it on for five minutes and check it. I'm gonna to try to cook it for 10 and get the temperature to 160 because we want it really done well. Okay, I'll let you know. Okay, here's Mr. R's plate and they came out really well. See how they pulled right away from the liner? Really good, like right there. The ketchup tend to make it a little browner on top. Um, next time I know not to put the ketchup on. Um, it just kind of gives it a darker, it's not burnt, but a real dark look. Let me see if I can get this out. Look at that. Got it out just like that, using one hand. Um, yeah, Ray's gonna take over. Wrist R, can you take over, please? Get this, the plate, please. Okay, there you have it, right there. And that's Mr. R's plate, and I just wanna split it open. It looks good. It looks really good, doesn't it, Ray? It does. And look at that. It's just the ketchup got a little brown on top, but that's perfect that cook to one over 165. I can't remember what it is, but I'll insert the picture. So if you like this video, please give me thumbs up and you never know what's gonna be on my videos. Um, please stay safe and healthy. Have faith and hope. God bless. We will see you tomorrow. Bye now.